All right, Tokyo, 27 points, their advantage over the LA current, but anything can happen because it is time for the skins and the winning relay team on the medley side gets to pick the men's and women's skins. Yesterday, Rowdy, it was LA. They've chosen freestyle on the women's and we saw Gastadello and Abby Weitzel tie for first yesterday. So it's a pretty good for them. It, it really does. And, you know, I was doing the quick math on, on the break and they still have a chance, but it's this race. It's not going to be the men's 50 backstroke. Ryan Murphy is not going to be able to do it. Even if he wins, he's not going to be able to be able to hold off an Enrique who's going to probably be there time and time again. This really comes down to White Soul and Gastadello, who tied for the 50 free. If somehow or another they can make it into the final, pick up a few jackpot points and hope and pray that Tokyo does not make the final four, they can close about 30 points on this race alone. So right now they're 37 points down. Gastadello, White Soul, half the final four, and then pray that. Aqua and Toronto can do something to hold off the Tokyo swimmers. Imai and Igarashi. All right, Beryl Gastadello in lane number three. Abby Weitzel in lane number four. Only four move on after this first round. Who will be knocked out? Well, they took them both off the 400 free relay, the mixed relay earlier. Right now, they look good there, but so does Tokyo for that fourth spot. I don't know, it's going to be very tight. They're certainly going to move on to the final four. White so Gastadella, but Michelle Coleman, she is also gonna move on. Coleman taking round one, and Tokyo, they are out! The Frog Kings knocked out of round one. They're knocked out, but Coleman wins. That's something you didn't want to have happen if you're current. You wanted Tokyo to be knocked out, but they also needed a win for those first place points. And what a swim for Coleman. What a swim for Coleman. Took her out of the relay as well, Toronto did. 23-9. That is just a fantastic swim in the 53, in the 50 freestyle. Wow. And now, what can she do to back it up? By the way, Munoz was fourth. Munoz was fourth for Aqua. And Bernie, they've got three minutes. And now you've got to hope, again, you've got to hope for Weitzel. And this is their really only hope, is to both of them move on to the final. And somehow or another, Coleman left it all in one race. A minute and a half left to go. Weitzel doesn't waste any time. There's Coleman right there behind the block. Munoz talking to her coach. Matea Junta, the coach for the Aqua Centurions, trying to urge on the swimmer. Two for LA Current, one for Toronto, one for the Aqua Centurions. Only two will survive the second round. 40 seconds left. Gostadello, the last swimmer out of the pool. I think that's smart. I stay in the pool as long as possible until the very last second. There's David Marsh right behind Gostadello. He knows how critical this is, Bernie. It, this is it. I mean, this is it. If somehow Weitzel and Gostadella make it in the final, they're still in it. How much fun are these skins races? Tokyo hoping that Coleman can upset the party potentially here. Only two will move on. Good start across the field. Great start for Coleman. Abby Weitzel in the lead. Gastadello, here she comes. Coleman is tying up. And LA, they move two onto the final. 
It's a jackpot for Abby Weitzel. Here we go. Aquas and Turians, they get no points. And they are tied. 476 and a half points apiece. What a swim for Abby White till 24-4. And right now they can start to celebrate because Coleman ran out of gas on the second one. She goes from 23-9 to 24-9. Wow. 14 points for Abby Weitzel, seven points for Beryl Gastadello as a team. They score 21 and Rowdy, no matter what happens, as long as they are clean, They'll score they're gonna score more. 21 points right here in this final round, because you get 14 points for first <laughs> and seven points right. for second place. So 21, they add another 21 points, so they go up 21 going into the last skins race. Don't you love this skins race, dude? I, I just amazing. love it. I mean. I love it. We need to put this in the Olympics for crying out loud. This is just awesome. What a what a great concept the ISL has come up with. And there goes Gostadella. She told our Mark Foster earlier in the meet, she has a little bit of a superstition by putting her legs up. She goes, I don't know why I do it. Maybe to get that lactic acid out of my legs, get the blood rush back up into my arms. They are exhausted, but they both want to win it. You know, they got they got a couple weeks off. I don't think they're I don't think they swim next weekend. So they, this is it for them. They got plenty of time to rest after this. This is all a sense of pride now. And regardless how it shakes out, Bernie, LA Current is going to get 21 points. Carol Gastadello currently leading the MVP battle with 71 points. Mm -hmm. So she's got a lot on the line. Ryan Murphy still to come. Now, Beryl Gastadello is six for six and wins today. Can she get her seventh win and take the skins? Oh, look at this. Look at a little mind games here going on. Gastadello said, maybe I got up a little early. There's the final whistle. There's a one whistle to be ready, another whistle to get on the blocks. And how the tide is turned. Good start, 0.63 on the start. How about that for reaction time for both of them? 0.63, White's a 0.66, and they are tired. Oh, good gravy, they are tired. What a great pullout, though. Look at Gastadello. She has saved the best for last. L.A., they win. They're going to score 21 points, but Beryl Gastadello, she's won the skins. <laughs> They both can smile off of that face. Whoa. Abby's going, whoa, what did you just do? How were you able to do that? I can barely swim at 50. And you're going 24-6. Both great starts. I love the start for Weitzel and Gostadello. <laughs> at least from a reaction time, but there's not a lot of there's not a lot of streamline going on. Gostadello doing the job underwater there and White's on the right. She did her job on the second round, though. She might have won this meet in the second round for the LA Current. And right now, you betcha, you're number one by 21 points. Well, the last time LA won a match, Beryl Gastadello was the skins winner. That was in the American Derby a season ago. L.A. has jumped into the lead as they've taken the skins by storm. But don't want to miss this. Men's skins still to come, and anything can happen.